Our salty crew sailed 300 miles from mainland Australia to Lord Howe, and we've made it our home for a couple of months. We've been hiking its impressive volcanic landscape and diving its pristine waters. Lord Howe's reefs are a mix of warm tropical water and cool temperate ocean currents, providing a fascinating and unique underwater world for us to explore with some extremely rare sea life to look out for. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Our big chore day, so everybody is doing their individual chore, and we're gonna clean this boat up. It's gonna look so beautiful and clean. What happened and what's <laughs> going on? Safety first. No, I lost the Monopoly deal. Yeah. To who? So. Well, are you Ricky? You always... I'm not So he got to choose an outfit for me for the entire day. Oh. I'll give you a little twirl. Oh. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> <Come on. laughs> I'm trying to do my chores yeah. and I keep banging into everything. <laughs> we said there's no time to waste, so hand in hand we run this race. Let's end it well. Let's get them files of hell. Nah. What are we doing over here, boys? <laughs> oh, I was putting the windlass back together. One of the locals on the island, Ellis, helped us get a new sacrificial pin. You want to walk us through, Manu? Yeah, I can show you the pin, which is in here, it broke, I wanted to carry it, it broke, so we had to pull everything out and get a new pin, that's what I just did then. on the island, and now, yeah, we got the pin and we can put it back together and hope it works, and it will work. How much uh, effort have you put into fixing this? Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia's windlass is a winch that was used during World War II to put bombs onto planes. It's very basic, yet very beefy and hardy. With a lot of wind, we had managed to tear our shear pin, an intentional point of weakness in the winch which prevents overloading and damaging anything more important. For the past couple of months, we've been using manpower to pull up our extremely heavy anchor which has led to some sticky situations in stormy seas. When we arrived at Lord Howe, we finally had the opportunity to take the winch apart and fix it. This is our sword. This is our stone. Uh, we've got our halyard uh, attached to the top of it. We've got a directional uh, line coming up so we can get that angle straight up. Uh, we've got that halyard super tight and now we're just like rotating it around, just trying to loosen it and it's actually coming out pretty easy. That's what we're afraid of, guys. <laughs> Did your life just flash before your eyes? <laughs> it's a relief to have a newly fixed pin and a working windlass again. Maintenance so, team! Yeah, we did it again. We did it again. We fixed something. We're not gonna break it again. <laughs> Hey Nate, what do we have for lunch today? We made some potato gnocchi over some bit of lettuce with a little bit of um, pesto beetroot sauce. Right here, a little pesto. It's got some beetroot in it. We have plated it like very gourmet stuff. As the girls work away on our computers for hours, working hard. The boys are hardly working. <laughs> what a life. So we got the anchor right here. We wrote something on it. Like 57 knots. That 
that was 57 knots of wind. So, of wind. 50 so, ton vessel. Yeah. Big anchor. And now we got the new anchor. We have been working like little worker bees all day and we haven't done anything physical in this time. So we're gonna do a workout on the bow. The beautiful sunshine. It's amazing view. above and beyond to get extra points, you know? It's going to taste good, but it also looks really pretty. We've got a sun and some flowers and a big sunflower that's actually um, purple with <laughs> red onion. Yeah, it's a pretty place. Alright, so we're heading out with Aaron today and um, he's kindly taking us out to some of the dive spots that we haven't explored yet. So we're going on his beautiful vessel and we're going to go diving with him and he's become a pretty good friend of ours on the island, so super sweet of him to take us out and explore together. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Concentrate your mind Fix it upon whatever you like I'm drunk on a memory back when we were just 17 Holding Lake Michigan with your eyes on me I have my hands deep in the pockets of my blue jeans I said you could be my Marilyn I'm never gonna sleep again You lovely creature washing over me like rain Slowly draining all the black out of my veins Until my eyes shine Cold as the morning I was loved by a woman Remember summer days Driving down to Dallas in the summer haze Sugar, I was up when you walked off the plane Standing like an angel with your suitcase And all I wanted was to be your guardian I wanna 
waste a while with you, baby, in the living room. I'm never gonna sleep again. You lovely creature washing over me like rain. Slowly draining all the black out of my veins until my eyes shine. Oh my dear, I love you like the summer loves the sun. All right, so we just got to land and now we're walking up to our bikes. We bought these little fold out bikes so they fit on Sylvia and that's how we get around this island. It's pretty big and if we walked everywhere it would take a really long time. So we're super happy that we've got bikes now. Love you like the river loves to run and flow. Alright, these are our bikes. These are perfect for the boat because you can make them smaller, fold them together. And yeah, pretty cool. Nice bikes. I love you with the whole request. Still, I'll be loving you in spite of me. And I love you to the end of time. The bike looks tiny when you ride it, and normal size when I ride it. <laughs> Here. Homemade pizza and a visitor. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey Molly. Hello. How, how's that pizza? Mm, so good. Good morning. We're saying something because literally I've been walking around the whole night. <laughs> Uh, it's been super super rock and rolly, like the boat has been rolling from one side to the other side So you will be doing the same on the bed Then managed to sleep a little bit, hearing everyone walking around, walk out, walk around as well But that's not matter because um, I'm so excited, we're gonna go to Bosbury, I mean, if that's if nothing changed Because still to be honest, we're pretty rock and rolly So let's see, fingers crossed for Bosbury, we've been waiting for that for so long, pretty much like that's like the main mission of this trip, eh? Like going to balls. Um, so yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Let's see if that can happen. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we sail to Balls Pyramid, the tallest sea stack in the world, just off the coast of Lord Howe. Try to do it! <laughs> 